Hi everyone, it's Terry here showing another layout for Bramble Fox. This time I'm using the new Viewmaster set which is available in the shop and I've pulled out some of the Echo Park Summer Market collection from last year um, to use for this layout. So I've got a piece of white cardstock that I'd already um, stitched a pink circle um, on my sewing machine on and I'm just trimming it down and backing it onto this uh, piece of red and white gingham from that collection to use as the base of my layout. Mm -hmm. So I had the idea from, from the Viewmaster set to kind of create a moving item on my layout where you turn it and you can see all the photos um, so you have to kind of move it to, to see all the different ones. So I'm cutting out um, a circle from the same patterned paper as I've used for the frame for the layout. I've just used a compass to draw it and I want it to kind of fit in the centre of that stitched circle. So originally I think I'm going to use the gingham um, side but you will see I do actually turn it over in a little while and use the strawberries. So to create kind of an aperture I'm just using my square photo to draw around and then I will cut that out using a craft knife. So I'm cutting just inside those um, pencil lines so that you won't see the edges of the photos when you turn the aperture. So I'm just going to work out where the centre is and line it up and then I'm going to use, delve into my massive stash of brads that I've had for oh, years and years and years um, to add a hole and pop that through to create the moving element of this layout. I'm just going to distress the edges of that circle as well because it's not quite perfect um, cut as I've used just my scissors and done it myself. I'm just popping that in and then you can see it move and now I'm just going to work out where to stick my photos. So I'm simply lining it up with the hole and then sticking it down and then I'll twist the, the circle piece and stick the next photo down. So I think I managed to put five out of the six photos in. I'm just checking that they all fit and nothing's overlapping and you'll see shortly that I do flip um, that circle over. So I've flipped the circle so that I'm using the strawberry side and I've also done a doodle line around the outside. Now I'm adding some of those fab Viewmaster perspectives so there's some white um, of the kind of picture reels and then there's some also some of the actual view masters so I'm going with a bit of a bit of a circle theme on this layout and I've punched out some circles from the same patterned paper so I want to add some of that gingham in as well so part one of the chipboard stickers um, I've got this lovely floral and it was a quote that I probably wasn't going to use so I've just used that to back my photo 
and I'm just working out whereabouts I want to add the main photo and the other pieces from the perspective set. So I do actually add the half reels to the top right and bottom left corners of the layout just to add a bit more interest in the background and I'm just going to start adding some stickers to make it easier to do the main layer I have taken the bread out while I just line everything up so to tie in with the main um, circle I'm just doodling around the edges of those gingham circles as well before I stick them down so those photo reels I've used the kind of adhesive brads from the Echo Park summer market set and they've they don't have like the brad legs they just have like the top part so that you can stick them down so I've been using them on the center of the uh, the reels So I just had to be careful when I was sticking things down on this that I didn't add adhesive to those bits that were overlapping um, the, either the photo aperture or the outside of the circle because otherwise they wouldn't, they wouldn't spin at the end. So I've just got those uh, last two perspectives that I'm looking at using. Um, I do only actually use that red one that's on the, on the layout already. But I'm trying to pull in a few more florals from the sticker sheet. So instead of adding this one underneath, I actually took it in under the reel um, and the circle there. Just adding a bit more doodling to tie in those reels with the rest of the page. Now it's just thinking about finishing off bits. So I'm adding some small stickers from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and then I will look at pulling in a title so I've got this old um, Thicker's word set and I've gone with hooray um, because this layout is documenting when we celebrated Liverpool Football Club club winning um, the league and which they'd not done for 30 years so that's why uh, my partner's in his red shirt um, and we're in the garden celebrating with the champagne and a cheeky Indian takeaway. So I'm just adding that little bit of journaling under my title. And there you have my finished layout with its moving parts. And you can see the idea behind it is to turn that circular piece all the way around. Thank you for joining me today on YouTube. Don't forget to check out the Bramble Fox Friends Facebook group and our Instagram account for more inspiration from the design team. I'll pop links in the description box below.